Good evening. This is Agashwani Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Vice President Jagdeep Thanka says education is most impactful and lasting transformation mechanism to change a society. Central Vigilance Commission is observing Vigilance Awareness Week 2023. Agashwani Kohima takes integrity pledge. Minister Jacob Zumomi says Nagaland government is focused on creating job opportunities for youths through skill development. And designer Lopilo Lolo Yaputo from Nagaland wins India Style Fashion Week Designer Award for the year 2023. Now the news in detail. Vice President Jagdeep Thankar has said that education is the most impactful and lasting transformation mechanism to change society. Interacting with professors, students and staff of Cotton University in Guwahati today, the Vice President said that education only can combat the inequalities of society and educational institutions have to be the instrument for change. Thankar said, with quality education, we could change the destiny of a country and institutes must think out of the box solutions for any issues. Central Vigilance Commission is observing Vigilance Awareness Week 2023 from today till 5th November. Every year, Vigilance Awareness Week is observed as an outreach measure to create greater awareness about the importance of integrity and ethics in public life. The theme for this year is Say No to Corruption, Commit to the Nation. The observance of Vigilance Awareness Week commenced today with the administering of the Integrity Pledge by Central Vigilance Commissioner Bravin Kumar Srivastava and Vigilance Commissioner Arvind Kumar at Satarta Pawan in New Delhi to the officials of Central Vigilance Commission. The Commission had sought the participation of all central government authorities and organisations to undertake a three-month campaign, 16 August to 15 November, on preventive vigilance activities as focus areas. The Commission has solicited the participation of all citizens to come together in bringing about transparency and accountability in public administration. Meanwhile, Akashwani Gohima also observed Vigilance Awareness Week at the office premise. On the occasion, the head of office, S. Odaya, administered integrity pledge to the officials and staff. Nagaland Minister for PHET and Cooperation, Jacob Zumomi, today said that the state government is focused on creating job opportunities for the youths through skill development. The minister was speaking at a felicitation program organised by Western Semi Students' Union for successful candidates of central exams, NPSC and NSSP examinations at Chekia village. Congratulating the successful candidates, he called them to work with wholehearted dedication and commitment towards the people and serve the state with integrity. Emphasising that it is never too late for those who couldn't succeed, Zumomi said the door is always open for those who work hard. The minister urged the young people to avail opportunities and never be ashamed to develop the habit of dignity of labour. Chief Minister Nipirio has greeted the Zeliang community on the occasion of Lang Simni. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Rio expressed hope that the festivity will nurture deeper relationships and strengthen bonds. The Chief Minister wished that the homes of the people be filled with peace and happiness. This news comes to you from Akashwani Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin live on News On Air, app and YouTube channels, AIR News Kohima and Akashwani Kohima program. Kohima Liang Mai Welfare Society today celebrated its premier festival, Chaka Kati, at Gisama Heritage Village. Manipur Minister for Water Resources and Relief and Disaster Management, Awangpo Nyume, attended the celebration as a special guest. Speaking on the occasion, Avangpo emphasised the importance of preserving linguistic diversity. He said each language has its unique way of expressing and facilitating communication among people, contributing to a better understanding of one's culture and identity. The minister urged the audience to encourage children to learn the local language and promote it, enabling them to reach the level of their contemporaries. Avangpo also stressed the need to preserve traditional customs which are passed down through generations. Chaka Kati Festival specifically honours women for their significant contributions to sustaining families. 
the festival takes place after the harvest starting in the last part of each year. Union Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia has said that government is expanding health infrastructure, promoting traditional systems of medicines and providing affordable health care to all. Dr. Mandavia said this while addressing the 76th session of the WHO Regional Committee for Southeast Asia Regional Office in New Delhi today. He highlighted India's efforts towards achieving the goal of universal health care following a holistic and inclusive approach. He added that India is reaching the last mile with the help of Ayushman Parad Health and Wellness Centres. The minister mentioned that so far Ayushman Parad Health and Wellness Centres have recorded over 2,110 million footfalls. In a display of community engagement and social responsibility, Nagaland State Department of Social Welfare today organised a Swachata He Seva campaign in Trensang Town. The spotlight of the event was on the active participation of the young girls from Bethel Children's Home who took charge of cleaning the surroundings of the iconic clock tower and badminton stadium in Trensang District. Caretaker of the Bethel Children's Home Trongji Yimkyong emphasized the importance of such initiatives in nurturing a sense of responsibility and community pride among the younger generation. Nagaland State Department of Information and Public Relations, DIPR, in collaboration with the Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, is organizing a training program in screen acting. The training program commenced at the department's conference hall in Kohima today. Speaking at, as the resource person, FTII alumna and co-founder of the Phoenix Players, Anita Salim emphasized the importance of cinema as a universal language and an art form that facilitates global communication. She highlighted the transformative power of cinema and encouraged participants to utilize the resources effectively, leaving behind a lasting legacy. Salim also loaded the enthusiasm of the students and their willingness to work and share their experiences. Director of DIPR, Zavinio Tenyo, expressed hope that the participants will gain valuable knowledge and experiences through their training which will contribute to their creative projects. The collaboration between DIPR and FTII is expected to foster significant growth in the film, the film and television in Nagaland. The screen acting training program is being specifically designed for participants from scheduled tribes residing in Nagaland. The program will conclude on November 8. Designer Lobilo Lolo Yeputo from Nagaland won the India Style Fashion Week Designer Award for the year 2023. Yeputo showcased her clothing designs at the India Style Fashion Week held at Apparel House, Gurgaon, in New Delhi on Saturday. The ISFW show was organised by Kaushik Kosh, Bollywood show director. And in sports, the Seniors Masters League 2023-24 is set to kick off on November 4, spanning across Sovima Cricket Ground and Nagaland Cricket Stadium. Supported by the Nagaland Cricket Association, the tournament will conclude on February 17, 2024. This was announced by the organising committee of the Seniors Masters League at a press conference at Sovima Cricket Stadium today. Secretary of the organising committee, C.K. Metsch, said the league is a tribute to the pioneers of Nagaland cricket. Match informed that six teams from Kohima, Jimkidima and Dimapu districts will participate in this commemorative event. And now to the news, here are the main points again. Vice President Jagdeep Thanka says education is most impactful and lasting transformation mechanism to change society. Central Vigilance Commission is observing Vigilance Awareness Week 2023. Akashwani Kohima takes integrity pledge. Minister Jacob Zumomi says Nagaland government is focused on creating job opportunities for youths through skill development. And designer Lobilo Lolo Yeputo from Nagaland wins India Style Fashion Week Designer Award for the year 2023. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.